Hey everybody, so today I'm bringing you a look using ColourPop Cosmetics. Um, I have some blushes, highlighter, eyeshadows, and some lippy sticks. Um, I don't have any of the bronzers, but that's just because I'm really, really picky about my bronzer because I'm so pale. Most bronzers kind of make me look like an Oompa Loompa, or they make me look kind of just crazy in general. So um, I don't have any of them, but I did use a lot of different eyeshadows for this look. I really love this. It's perfect for fall. Again, it's something different than my last fall tutorial. Um, I have to say that I really enjoy the ColourPop Cosmetics line in general, uh, but they're a little bit weird to work with at first because they're sort of a strange consistency, somewhere between like a cream and a shadow. Uh, they feel wet, almost spongy to the touch and you have to keep them really tightly closed because otherwise they will dry out and that would be, you know, a travesty. I'm not going to swatch all of them for you um, because I have quite a few and I only used a, a few of them in this look, but I'm going to swatch some of my favorites in the video that's probably going up before this one, but if you're seeing this one first, then check that one out. I'm gonna swatch some of my favorite colors uh, because there are some of them that I didn't use in this that are just gorgeous, in my opinion. Um, if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, first going into the color Play. I'm just going to blend this into the crease with a synthetic blending brush. You're going to want to use synthetic brushes with everything here. For a looser color or a lower color payoff, you're going to want to use a sort of less dense brush, but the most color payoff is gonna be achieved with a small, dense brush. I kind of found this out by just trial and error. Now going into the color sequin. I start to go in with a fluffy brush, but because of all the glitter, you're gonna get a lot of fallout with this one, so I would actually recommend a smaller, dense brush or even using your fingertips. I'm just packing this onto the inner and outer thirds and into the crease. It doesn't really matter if you get it on the center of the eyelid because we're going to go over it with a more metallic shadow later. It'll just cover it up. Once I've got it where I want it, I just kind of blend it out so that it doesn't have any harsh edges. Now going into the color Drift. I'm using a really small synthetic brush here and I think that this one worked the best of the brushes that I was using for these ColourPop eyeshadows just because it's so dense it really picks up a lot of color and places it exactly where you want it. Now going into the color Lala. I'm going to put this directly in the center of the lid where we left it open. It just gives a really nice reflex. Now I'm going to line my eyes with the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Via Veneto and use mittens to sort of blend it out on the top lash line. And I'm also going to put that mittens color right along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to use a synthetic pencil brush to blend it out with a little bit of the crease color from earlier. Now 
now I'm going to line my water line with the Via de Martelli, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then put on some falsies. And then I'm just gonna go over the lash band with a little bit of mobster gel liner. Then I'm going to put on some lower lash mascara. Now going into prenup blush. First I sort of just patted it on with my finger, but you can also use a brush, um, which I'll do in a second. These actually blend pretty nicely with the fingers, so it's not a bad option. Then I'm going to go in with Smoke and Whistles, which is sort of a peachy color. And then Stole the Show, which is more of a frosty, sort of champagne-y white. Just going to put this on the tops of my cheekbones, along the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. I'm also going to use it to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Then I'm going to put on Brink Lippy Stick. And that's the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.